Whereas, in 1965, Paul Lee came to Santa Cruz to teach philosophy and religious studies. He inspired many students with his adventures and brought renowned organic gardening pioneer Alan Chadwick to the University of California at Santa Cruz to create what is now called the Alan Chadwick Garden. Alan Chadwick and Paul Lee were pioneers in the region's organic agriculture and agroecology agri movements that have become central to the life of our community today. You getcha! <laughs> and whereas Paul Lee and his partners in crime, Herb Schmidt founded the University Services Agency, later the United Services here, here. Agency, to birth dozens of local enterprises and organizations, including the Whole Earth Restaurant. And oh, right. whereas Paul Lee and his partners in crime Mark Primack launched the Green Belt Movement in Santa Cruz and led the struggle to successfully protect the provenant from development. And whereas Wouldn't do it again. Paul Lee and his partner in crime, Paige Smith, created the William James Association, which operated several projects, including the William James Work Company and the Prison Arts Project. And the California Conservation Corps. Okay. And the Penny University. And the Penny University, which we and, talked uh, about. And the Martini Club. <laughs> okay, which is still thriving today. Paul Lee and Paige Smith rented a small commercial space in downtown Santa Cruz and operated their first privately run homeless shelter in the area. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here. And whereas Paul Lee and his partner in crime, Paul Fotenauer, created and developed the Interfaith Satellite Shelter Program, bringing 30 local churches to provide a rotating site homeless shelter for local people who would otherwise sleep outside. Here, here. And whereas Paul Lee, along with Lynn Basor Cooper, found the renowned Homeless Garden Project to provide job training and employment to unhoused people looking for a supportive work environment. And whereas Paul Lee pioneered local ecotourism with his advocacy for the Santa Cruz Circle Trail and promoted a vision of ecotopia in Santa Cruz. Here, here. And whereas Paul Lee inspired hundreds of local activists and volunteers to step up and contribute to the improvement of the lives <laughs> of the less advantaged people of Santa Cruz and the entire planet. And his groundbreaking work in addressing homelessness led the community to name the upstairs shelter at Housing Matters the Paul Lee Loft Shelter. Yeah, yeah. And whereas Paul Lee did a lot of other weird, colorful, and interesting <laughs> stuff not enumerated in this proclamation, he can truly be called a community treasure for his countless contributions to the well-being of the people of Santa Cruz today being his 92nd birthday. Okay, do Paul Lee one more time. <laughs> <laughs> now, therefore, I, Sonia Brunner, Mayor of the City of Santa Cruz, do hereby proclaim September 20th, 2022 as Paul Lee Day. That's oh. Paul Lee Day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I talk to my wife. <laughs> 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 the anti. 